We found some family size Class C RVs with bunk beds. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hi, everybody. Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're taking a look at Class C RVs that are larger sized and they have bunk beds in them so you can fit the whole family on board. Hey, if you've seen our YouTube channel before and you're back, thanks for coming back. We really, really appreciate you being here. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group that we hope you'll join called RV Camping for Newbies. It's a great place to learn all about RVing with your fellow RVers. Today though, we're gonna be taking a look at Class C RVs that are family sized, can sleep a ton of people, and have bunk beds. So, without any further ado, let's get started with our brief reviews. All right, this Class C RV is a Gulfstream Conquest model number 63111. It's 32 feet long, and it can sleep nine people, which is pretty impressive. It's a pretty high amount of people for just a 32 foot RV, but we'll go through all the sleeping situation as we work our way through and you'll see where everybody can bunk up for the night. But we're starting in the front of the RV here. Over top, you'll notice that there's a nice big bed up here in the over cab area. They also have these uh, built-in cabinets up top for extra storage, so that's a really nice feature. They're saying two people could sleep up here I think if there are kids, they could sleep up here. I'm not, I guess you could squeeze two adults up here as well. Um, you'll also, also notice up in this area, this is where the TV is located. This TV will swing out on an arm and then it, you can see it from the dinette or from the sofa area as well. Speaking of the dinette, as soon as you pull away from the front of the RV here, we have a dinette. This table will drop down and then this will become a bed where two people could also sleep as well. And again, I'm guessing this would be definitely for two kids. Uh, one thing I really like about this, nice big giant window over top of the dinette. We have a Gulfstream Conquest as well, and we have a big dinette window also. We love that about our RV. And then of course you have additional storage cabinets up above. Now right across from the dinette, you have a really nice big comfy, cozy sofa. This baby also jackknifes out and one person could sleep on here. And then above you also have additional storage cabinetry as well. Now this area of the sofa and then moving into the kitchen where the oven and the stove and the microwave, this is all a nice bump out that slides in and out. One thing that's very nice is when this is in the in position, you can still walk back from the driving area through the center of the RV and get to the bathroom, which we'll show you where it is in just a couple minutes. But uh, that's a nice thing when the slide outs are in, you can still get to your bathroom. So here we are in the kitchen area and you'll notice that it's got a really decent size oven down below, pretty good size. It's got a three burner range and then a microwave. Not very big, but it's big enough to get the job done up top. Now one question we get asked quite often is, why are there five knobs on this particular range and oven setup? There's a three burner range and an oven that should only need four knobs. Well, the fifth knob is just this sparker knob. And all this does is it creates a spark on each of these burners. So when you turn the propane on, you spark it and that ignites your propane so you get a flame on the burner so you don't have to use your lighter that way. As we wrap around through the kitchen area, nice big round, deep bowl sink in here, a little bit of countertop space off to the side, extra storage and drawer space down below, and then additional storage up above as well. Right across from this part of the kitchen is where you'll find your refrigerator. This is a really good size fridge that's in here. I mean, the, the freezer is nice and large and the refrigerator itself is very large inside too. So as we continue to back through this RV, I've backed up just past the refrigerator we just looked at. And here we are in the bunk area and there's two decent sized bunks here. And uh, there's a window for each one of them. Each one has a light overhead so you can see what's going on in there. Now there are no USB ports in this bunk setup. 
Um, but what they have instead is right across from it, you would be able to mount a TV on this wall. You can see your cable jacks right here. So the kids can stay in the bunks, watch TV. So directly across from the bunk beds is the bathroom. And this is a decent sized bathroom actually. I'm standing here in the shower, which is raised up off the floor by about six inches or so. But inside the shower, it's about three feet wide. It's probably about 20 inches deep. So it's not really that deep, but it's still a decent shower and it's very nice. It has shelves in here for your soap and shampoo and whatnot. Um, height wise, I'm 5'11". Through most of the RV, I've had at least eight inches of headroom and the same is true here in the shower because of the skylight. So plenty of room overhead throughout the entire RV. One thing I really like in here are these reta uh, retractable shower doors. And so, you know, very easy to open and close out of the way. You don't have a shower curtain, you know, sticking to the side of you while you're taking a shower. So that's really a nice feature in here. Uh, over top of the sink area, we have a really nice size medicine cabinet, very big, additional little storage shelves. And then they even put a little cap over top of the bathroom sink, which is kind of neat. Haven't seen that before, but good amount of countertop space and storage down below. Here I am sitting on the commode. I've had a lot of requests for me to start doing the elbow test again, which I do want to give credit to Mark Bennett over at RV Love for the elbow test. I saw him do it and then I've done it too and people have kind of said, hey Mike, would you do that again? So here I am sitting on the commode, not a lot of elbow space in here, but it's very comfortable. I don't feel like the wall across from me, the shower across is too close. I don't feel very impeded at all. So comfortable setup inside this bathroom. So here we are in the very back of this RV in the master bedroom, and it's a decent sized room back here. You'll notice there's a couple of large windows in here, which I love because you can get a nice cross breeze going. There's additional storage over top of the bed. Each side has a little nightstand with a receptacle, electrical receptacle on each side and two USB ports. So that's really kind of a nice setup. The bed itself is a short queen. And then across from the bed, you have your whole wardrobe area. Uh, your TV could be mounted right up here. Lots of storage down below. Blankets, pillows, clothes, whatever you have, and then drawer space below that. All right, this Class C RV with bunk beds is the Nexus Triumph 32T. It's 32 feet, nine inches long, and it can sleep, they claim seven people, but I think it can sleep eight pretty comfortably. So anyway, we'll run through the RV and see what you think. Uh, anyway, we'll start here at the front and in the over cab area, uh, I believe they think only one person could sleep up here, but it's really large enough that two people could easily sleep up there. Also note how thick this cushioning is up top as well. As we move into the RV, we have our dinette for four right here. Four people could easily seat at this table. The table itself drops down and then this converts into a bed as well. And then of course we have cabinetry over top and then this is where your TV would mount as well. Directly across from the dinette area, we have a jackknife sofa that can also fold out and sleep one person here. Nice size window above and then extra storage cabinets here as well. So just past the jackknife sofa is where the kitchen begins. And you'll notice that the stovetop and the microwave and the sofa itself are all in one slide out. When this thing slides in, there is still enough room to make your way down the center of the RV here. And you can actually get to the bathroom and use it even when the rear slide in is in as well. So good access to everything inside this RV, whether the slides are opened or closed. Now, this RV features a three burner range. Down below, there is no oven in here, but in exchange for no oven, you get extra really big cabinet uh, space. There's two drawers underneath of here that are both very, very large. And then there's a super big microwave oven up top. It's not a convection, it's just a plain microwave, but it's really, really a large size. So maybe that'll make up for the oven area. And then as you wrap around from there, we have our kitchen sink, which is a double bowl sink with a nice gooseneck faucet. Storage above, nice and deep with a shelf in there. And then drawer space down below. And then right across from this area, we have our refrigerator. Now this is a weird little setup to me. This 
this little latch, I don't know, you know, it doesn't really do anything. And it, when your fridge is open, that kind of sticks out in the middle of nowhere. That's really weird. I'm not sure that's right. But anyway, the refrigerator itself, I really, really like because it's so deep. I mean, this thing goes back, gosh, almost two feet. So that's one of the deeper refrigerators and freezers really that I've ever seen. So the amount of storage space in there is really fantastic. So here we are back here where the bunk beds are located and uh, two good sized bunks, additional storage space under the bunks down below. That's a really cool feature. And then each of the bunks comes with its own electrical receptacle and two USB ports. No TVs or windows or anything inside of here, but that's okay. If the kids have power, they can power up their games, devices, watch whatever they want on their iPhone or whatever they have. All right, so here I am in the shower in this bathroom, and it's a good sized bathroom. Um, the ceiling height is a little bit of a concern in here though, because there's only, I don't know, four or five inches over my head. I'm 5'11", so if you're taller than 6'4", I think you would have, you'd have to crouch inside of this shower. Um, but one thing I do like about the shower is, you know, this sort of sliding shower door you'll notice that the track itself arcs out into the bathroom. So it keeps the, the shower curtain out a little bit and off of you so it doesn't stick to the side of you while you're taking a shower. Also, you'll notice in here, it's a good sized medicine cabinet overhead, plenty of countertop space in here, and then additional storage down below. So here I am seated on the commode and elbow test isn't so hot, but I still feel like there's plenty of room in here that you don't really feel too uh, claustrophobic. Okay, so now we're all the way in the back of this RV and we're in the owner's bedroom and this has a short queen bed in here. But one thing that I really like about this bed in this bedroom is there is space to actually be able to walk around the bed. And so that's a really nice feature. So both people can get out in and out of bed on their own side without disturbing the other. Uh, good size window additional storage space overhead. There's also some reading lights that you can use. And there's a little nightstand on each side of the bed as well. And then at this end of the bedroom, which is a big bump out, um, there's you know plenty of wardrobe space. You would mount your TV right here. You have additional drawer space and cabinet space down below. So pretty good amount of storage space in here as well. This Class C RV is the Thor Motor Coach 4 Winds 31 EV model. It is a very cool Class C RV because it's got some bunk beds that you're going to want to check out once we move towards the back of the RV. But up front here, you have your driver's area. And over top of that, you have a nice big bunk that two people could easily fit in. It's got a really nice high ceiling as well, so you won't feel cramped if you're sleeping up there. On one end, it has a very large TV mounted on a big swing arm that can come out. And that's a great spot for the TV because you're able to see it when you're sitting on your couch out here in the living area. Now this couch also jackknifes out into a bed where one more person can sleep. And then of course, there's plenty of storage overhead as well. Now, right across from the couch, you have your dinette area, and it's a very comfortable dinette that can seat four people, and this also converts into a bed as well. And there's also storage underneath each of the dining booth seats. Above, there's even more storage. All right, so here we are in the kitchen area, which features a nice 45 degree angled sink. It's a single bowl, but it's really, really deep. It has a nice faucet with a sprayer included. And then of course you have a tower of power on the back of the countertop. Three burner stove, oven down below, and it's got this nice big drawer for pots and pan storage as well. There's also some good storage under the sink and it has these drawers that pull out also. Over top of the sink and the stove, we have plenty of storage up here with an adjustable shelf. And then of course you have your microwave. Right across from all this, we have a refrigerator with a separate freezer. And then there's a very nice pantry cabinet built in here as well to hold lots of canned goods, things like that. As we move back through the RV, this is where you'll find the bunk beds. This is a very nice little setup. Each bunk bed has its own window 
and it also has its own rough in for a TV along with USB ports to recharge phones, games, all sorts of things like that. So here we are in the owner's bedroom and this features a queen size bed. It's got a nightstand on each side with electrical outlet and USB ports. Also plenty of storage overhead. At the other end of the bedroom, there is this huge wardrobe closet with drawers down below. And then there's additional countertop space with built-in drawers below that as well. So here we are in the bathroom. And as you can see, there are two entrances. Susan's standing on the side where you would come into the bathroom from the living area and I'm in the owner's bedroom. So it's nice that it has two doors in here. The shower is a corner shower, very good size, lots of elbow room, and we love the glass doors that sort of wrap around. Also in here, you'll notice we have a medicine cabinet, vanity with storage space down below, and then there's a little corner cabinet up above the commode. This Class C RV is the Integra Odyssey 31F. It's about 32 feet, six inches long, and it sleeps either eight or nine people, depending on the people that you have on board. If it's a lot of kids, I would say nine. Mostly adults, I would say eight. But anyway, we'll run through all that as we work our way through the RV. Starting at the front here, the first thing you'll notice is this is an extremely large overcab area. Uh, right now we have the shade closed because of glare that comes in when we're shooting our video, but you can see this is a really large window that you would have up in this overcab area. Ceiling height up here is tremendous. Uh, so you could easily sleep two adults up here. There's also a TV up here that swivels out on its mount. So very, very nice setup as far as the overcab area goes. As we work our way back into the RV a little bit, you'll notice to the right-hand side here is a good-sized dinette. Four people could easily fit in here and enjoy dinner. Table drops down, and this also converts into a bed. Definitely mm, two kids could sleep in here. I think one adult, it might be a little short, actually, uh, but it'll be close. Nice size uh, window over top of the dinette as well. Directly across from that, we have a nice sofa that will jackknife out into a bed. Also a good size window over top of the sofa. And then you have additional storage cabinets up above. Okay, so just behind the dinette and the sofa is the kitchen area. I really like this kitchen area. It just feels really good. It feels very residential because you have things like the cabinetry on top of the refrigerator to sort of make all the cabinetry blend in together. So it just has a nice rich feel to it. Uh, but when you first come in, you'll notice you have a nice big double bowl sink here good size gooseneck faucet over top. It even has a little additional uh, countertop space here with this flip up countertop spot. Below that, you have additional drawer space, nice and deep. And then you have a decent amount of countertop space, but it's really kind of behind the sink. So it's there for maybe storage, maybe a toaster oven, I don't know, maybe a short coffee maker, but um, anyway, there's a tower of power back there, so you can plug in your electronics and recharge. Uh, it does have a three burner stove. It's got a decent sized oven down below. And then over top, you have your range and of course your microwave over top of that as well. Now this is also a convection microwave also. So they have both an oven and a convection microwave in here. So that's pretty cool for those of you that like to cook. Right across from all that, we have the refrigerator here, and this is a good size fridge and a separate freezer up above. So plenty of space in there. And then I really like, you know, these pantry cabinets off to the side, store all your canned goods and things in there. So nice, uh, it's about two feet deep, so good amount of storage in there. So just past the kitchen area, we have uh, the bunks on the right-hand side here. These are decent sized bunks. You'll notice that each bunk has its own really good size window and also TV inside as well. So the kids can sit in here or lay in here, watch TV at night. There's also a receptacle in each bunk so they can recharge or charge their phones, games, devices, whatever they happen to have on board. So here I am in the bathroom. And one of the really nice things I like about this bathroom is that it's a dual entry bathroom. Susan is standing out sort of at the back of the kitchen where you would head towards the bunks and there's a door that comes in from there and then this door heads into the master bedroom so 
I just like the dual entry bathroom because you can easily access it from both locations. This is a really nice size bathroom setup though. First thing you'll notice in here is this big corner shower with the big sliding glass doors that come around and close. That's a really nice setup and um, just seems to work well. You don't have a shower curtain blowing around and things like that. We're on a little bit of an incline so the door won't stay open. But also in here you'll notice you have a good size medicine cabinet and then your sink, a little bit of counter space and then of course storage down below. On your commode here, uh, really a good, good amount of space. I mean the elbow test is a home run in here. All right, so here we are in the master bedroom and you'll notice that uh, it's a good size room in here, a very large wardrobe uh, closet with drawers down below. And then you have this huge bank of drawers, uh, goes back pretty deep, a lot of storage space. This is a short queen bed that's in here. So it's only 76 inches long instead of 80. And it's sort of a scooch around bed, but at least you can get in and out of bed on both sides. Um, so, you know, that's pretty good in my opinion. You'll also notice that there are reading lights above the bed, additional storage cabinetry above, and then on each side of the bed, there's a little nightstand with uh, a receptacle on each side so you can recharge devices, run a CPAP, whatever you need to do. You have plenty of space for that in here as well. We're at a dealership today. We're at Leo's dealership in Maryland. They're kind enough to let us come by, shoot video in some of their RVs, and we're very appreciative of that. But you'll notice like the bed is still kind of wrapped in plastic. Uh, the, you know, the comforter and pillows are all wrapped up. The front, we had the over cab all wrapped up. So anyway, that explains why it is the way it is, but they try to keep everything as neat and clean as possible before they sell their RVs. All right, here we are inside the Jayco Redhawk. 31F. And this Class C RV is about 32 feet, 6 inches long, but it feels much, much bigger in here. It's really surprising. The RV itself, starting at the front, has swivel seats. Both seats swivel all the way around so you can sit here and look into the back and enjoy time with your family. Over top, two people can easily sleep up here and there's place for a TV so the kids can lay up here, watch TV, and relax. Then we move in and we have a dinette right here. This also converts into a bed, but it's plenty of seating. It's very nice and comfortable seating as well. And then across from that, we have a two person couch, which again, this furniture is just so plush. It's really, really amazing. Over top, there's overhead storage. So the kitchen area has pretty good amount of, cab of uh, countertop space, as you can see. It's got a double bowl sink, microwave over top, three burner range oven down below, a decent amount of cabinetry and storage space for you. Right across from that is where the refrigerator is located. And I like the fact that they have these cabinet panels on the front of the refrigerator. But when you open up inside, it's a very good size fridge with a separate freezer up top. So I like that feature a lot in every RV that we review. Uh, and then to the right of the refrigerator, there's a pantry space. This goes back a couple of feet and this is what makes the RV just feel so much bigger. It just keeps going back and back and back. But you have two bunk beds in here. So, so far we have a lot of places for people to sleep. Two up front in the over cab, one in the dinette, two right here. And then you'll be able to sleep two in the bedroom. So seven people all together. So pretty roomy. So here we are in the owner's bedroom and it features a queen size bed that you can pretty easily walk around both sides. It has a little nightstand on each side of the bed and there's a little outlet on each side so you can plug in, charge your phone, what have you. It's also got extra storage up top over top of the bed as well. On this side of the bedroom you've got a whole entire bank of drawers, fully extendable drawers that come out. Another spot up top for storage. I mean, there's just so much space in here, it's ridiculous. And then you have a big old wardrobe closet as well with a couple of drawers under that. One thing we haven't looked at yet is the bathroom and you can access that from either the master bedroom or the hallway and we'll take a look at that right now. All right, so Susan is standing out in the hallway by the bunk beds and I'm in the owner's bedroom and we're short, sort of shooting through so you can see both entrances. But this is a good sized bathroom. You have a nice corner shower stall with the glass doors, plenty of room for a shower. The vanity area features a medicine cabinet, small sink, a little bit of counter space, 
and then some storage down below and then of course your commode let us know which one of these class c rvs is your favorite in the comments down below we hope you've enjoyed checking them out in our video and speaking of check it out if you'd like to check out some of our other videos just click one of the boxes down below and remember to subscribe to the rv blogger youtube channel when you do and remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new video so for mike and susan thanks for watching and we'll see you next time